Hi everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Rights. Today I'm going to do a slightly different video to what I usually do. I've been doing a lot of reviews recently, but behind the scenes I've been doing a lot more writing than reading. So I wanted to discuss a couple little like writing updates, self-publishing updates, and I also wanted to unbox this um, paper gam box <laughs> just while I'm here. So my debut novel, which was self-published back in 2017, has been around for a while now. And um, even though I did many edits of it when it first came out, there are still typos in it. So especially one on the first page where it says room instead of roof, which completely changes the setting of the first chapter. So it's been four years and I finally fixed some typos. Um, this... <laughs> This was the first proof copy, so I wanted to fix some typos with this specific draft. I wanted to finally have it so I have, you know, um, the double like title page. So I can sign things if I want on here. I also wanted to change it so the chapter titles, the font would finally match the cover. And at the end I wanted to add a little sneak peek of my upcoming novel. So they're the main changes I wanted to this. Oh, I also added in a new chapter. But after doing all these edits, even adding in a new chapter, it still ended up being about 10 to 20 pages shorter than the original version somehow. So I looked at this and I thought, you know, we've got to do something to make this longer. So I changed the line spacing and now it's 50 pages longer and now it's finally 300 pages long. So it feels, it, holding it, it feels like a proper book now. This was a bit on the flimsy side. They look pretty much the same. But um, this one is the one that's up for sale right now. It is 305 pages. It has, it has all the things I want in a book, which is, why is it so dark? So it's got that a double title page. It's got the new chapter headings. It's got the sneak peek of my next book and it's it's got a new chapter and it just actually feels like a real book. So they are the updates I've done on the paperbacks for this book. The next thing I wanted to work on was self-publishing hardbacks <laughs> because I think my big dream as an author is to just have a hardback copy of my book. So I went on to lulu.com to do this because they have options of do I have any? I don't have any easy access examples. Oh yeah, I do. So you have the option of just the hardback that is just a hard book, or you have the obviously the more traditional hardback that's got a removable dust jacket. So I wanted to make some proof copies that we have next to me here, which I'll go into in a second, just because I wanted to see what I actually wanted for this book. And also, why are you making hardbacks for a book that came out four years ago, you may ask. Um, I'm experimenting, so when my next book is self-published, I can have all the different editions, paperback, ebook, hardback, all come out at once. So this is my experimenting, and because that next book isn't fully finished, there's still some edits to do that could have a big impact to the word count. I don't want to keep um, pushing out hardback drafts as they can get expensive for something that's not fully finished but inside. So I've been making these drafts of a book that I know is now finished. So the first one I got, this this drawing here of Josh and Clara is by Kyle Wakefield, who is a friend from Mavella, the writing website I spent a lot of time on and where this book was born. So I commissioned them to draw this little piece for me and I'm just using it on these hardback set for me. This won't be on the official hardback. I don't know if this book will have an official hardback because it's been so long since release I don't think people care anymore. <laughs> but I'm just using it so I can have these editions for myself and also I do not have permission from the artists who sell these yet so these are just for personal use. So yeah obviously the cover I wanted it to stay as true to the original cover so it's still the boy and the girl and it's the, still the same fonts. And the back, because you know in hardbacks the blurb ends up going on the inside, so the blurb is here and it shows the original cover. And the back where the author bio is, it's there. 
this photo when I do official hardbacks will be a different offer photo. I hope over the summer when I move in with my new pals for uni, as we're all photography students, hopefully one of them will take me a very pretty photo. So yeah, I think with Lulu, I like it because if you're making hardbacks for yourself, you have a lot more options of what colour you can make the book on the inside. So I can make it green to match the green. But if you are publishing through them and putting these up for sale, you're limited to, I think, a grey and maybe a navy colour. So a navy will work with the next book, but the green, the green's very special to my green baby. And also on the side, you can't, you can quite kind of see it is um, book title of my name. So this was a very exciting thing for me just to play around with. But the big issue I had with making this cover was they give you the template based off your um, page count, obviously for the spine width, and the template and the, the bleed line for the other guidelines. I found it very difficult just to actually work out which parts would definitely be on the cover and which parts were like 50-50. So you can see at the bottom my name's been cut off a bit because even though it was within one of the guidelines, it wasn't in another and I need, I need to look at that again. <laughs> so yeah, and also on the inside, so the front cover kind of wraps round onto this bit down here. Which would be something that now I can see it in person, I'll be able to get a better judge of what those guidelines are. So yeah, I do think I will be going with this wrapped hardcover for the next book. Just because I think that's nice. I just like that. But yeah, this hardback, how many pages long are we? Oh, this one also has the fixed typos, the chapter in the back and it, the extra chapter and the formatted um, chapter titles. That's a lot of things. Can I show you here? So yeah, there's a front page. But how long is this? This hardback is it's about 170 pages long. So <laughs> compared to, you know, paperbacks are obviously longer, but because Lulu has a left lot more limited um, sizes so this is a six by nine inch US trade size whereas this is the UK trade size so it's um, about I think these are 5.08 by 7.8 something inches so yeah it's about an inch shorter either way so obviously the words are more spread out in here and it makes it a lot shorter which is kind of sad because I spent all the effort into making this one feel like a real book that it's just a little skinny hardback now but this was a very good learning experience for me of how to do this maybe not well but so I can expand on that in the future then I got a not a not the wrapped hardback but a different hardback just because I fixed the line spacing in this one so this is the second draft as I have a second paperback draft as well so how long is this one? This one feels a lot nicer as a hardback. This is 200 pages long. And I got the, I mean, I, I didn't crop my name out of this one. <laughs> so yeah, have a little look. And this, oh, the se it's the same as on this book. It's a quote from the book rather than a blurb. Because I think I ended up trying to market it more as a romance, even though th that, um, I mention this a lot more in, I think, it's either my last video or my next video where I go through reading the annotations that I made on the book of my kind of love-hate relationship of how it's kind of a romance but not really, it's a love story but it's not and yeah so I, I think I ended up marketing it as a romance now. <laughs> I think my main point is hardback, I just liked it because um, it doesn't overlap. I got the margins and those bleed lines and all that right with this. But I do like the linen wrapped hardbacks just because I can make the book green. <laughs> and yeah, this is a different vibe. But this is a very good proof copy and it was another learning thing on how to do this. But I don't know, like, because I am a independent self-published author, like, I don't, I don't feel like it's worth it making so many versions of the books. The hardbacks are pretty much for myself. So yeah, I don't want to spend a load of money on making different like alternative covers for... So like, so... 
like you know when popular books they have like 10 different covers I don't want to spend money on making like a specific hardback cover or like a specific ebook cover or like multiple variations because I could have kept every single draft of this book up on Amazon and had like 10 different versions but I think I do enjoy with just they're very similar covers but this is more of a minimalist version but I like that they're still similar and that means if I continue this um, commissioned artist route for my hardbacks then they'll still look good as a matching series because I know that my like real covers like these I know the one for my next book is very different but if I go for this format for the hardbacks they can all kind of look consistent I think but this was mostly just me learning how to actually make hardbacks and also if you sell hardbacks if you buy them directly from the Lulu website they are kind of not cheap but more affordable but as um, you can put them up so they're distributed on Amazon via Lulu they are double the price so obviously I want it all to be in one place I would like it if they're all on Amazon I mean we don't like Amazon but for my self-publishing journey they just happen to be the most convenient and affordable route which sucks but one day we'll find a better option. So I'd obviously like them all to be on one place on Amazon but as the hardbacks on Amazon make it double the price I think you can see this is a interesting relationship. So that's my kind of little self-publishing updates, that's my Beauty and the Breakdown updates. The upcoming updates, <laughs> upcoming updates, my little writing updates is that my little love child, my baby, this project that's on my entire heart which is called Paper Forests is very close to completion and it's getting to the stage of formatting the templates for the manuscript which is very exciting because this book I take a long time to write books I take a good three years to write and edit and be happy with it so I've been like dreaming of publication or self-publication for this one for years and I got the cover for it or, um, at least two years ago now so I've been waiting for this and it might actually be happening I think definitely this year probably autumn and I think maybe, maybe September I think one of the characters in that book's birthday is September so maybe then I will have my next book and now Paper Gang's box which is also green like my book <laughs> Um, this is the April, I'm pretty sure this is the April box, they're usually pretty good at sending their boxes out, unlike Owl Crate. But yeah, they had I think three different, I think the contents of all the boxes are the same, but they had three different designs. This is the design that I wanted least, but we're going to open it up and we're going to see, we're going to open it up on the side. We're going to see, because I think the contents of this box is more towards letter writing. I know... I've had a lot of these boxes now. They are very hit or miss. Um, the one that was, the last box was pretty good. The one before, I think the February box was like purple and flowery. And they aimed for better quality items rather than the quantity of items. But it ended up having three things in. It had a ruler, a pen, and a pair of scissors. And it was just a bad box. Not because of the amount of items but just because it was so simple and not very well thought out and mm -hmm. but they do uh, sometimes it's definitely almost more like a 50 50 now of how good their boxes are they've more recently replaced the tissue paper with more like a wrapping paper we're going to rip this open oh <laughs> i can't i can't uh, yeah it's all it's all falling out on t let's put down. I think on top we have a a lot of envelopes. Um, the, the blue ones say hello. These orange ones say greetings. These ready orangey ones say happy mail. So that's a a lot of envelopes. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay. A lot of envelopes. Then we have. 60 sheets, um, some sticky notes with the same patterns, mm -hmm. we've got some, um, some of these, these like rainbowy colour pens, can I open one, 
Am I actually thick? No. Okay, so I guess the ink will change as I use this, which could be very cute or very annoying. I probably won't end up using these pens because they feel... I don't like how they feel. You know you've got to have a pen that feels good. This isn't one of them. Then we've got some... We've got some washi tape. I've seen in the comments of the posts they did to announce this box, a lot of very negative comments and a lot of them were about um, the washi tape being missing. And I have some washi tape. It's this green check pattern that's on my box. <laughs> but I do have it. <coughs> what else? I haven't seen one of these in years. We've got a stencil. I really don't know what to say about this box. A lot of the time, like, the design for the last one was very cool. The design for the Christmas one, the one before that, I think the October one, and the space themed ones were very cool. There's a lot of me to say about that. But this is just a pattern. It's just some patterns. And we have a Hello It's Me. Is this another? It's um, just coloured. It's got these like little very faint white lines. It's just some coloured paper. So yeah, this is very much a letter writing box. And as someone who writes a lot of, who still does write handwritten letters, this is, it's good for me. It's probably also good for my scrapbooking purposes, but a box as a whole, this is a very average box. And based off the quality of the more recent paper gun boxes, it's, pro it's probably a decent, it's a good like six, seven out of 10 box. I really need to cancel my subscription. <laughs> But thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I think that's what I got to say in terms of the publishing updates, these hardbacks were the big thing I wanted to talk about in this video. And I think I've covered all that. And hopefully I will see you soon with some more news on my next book. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.